Welcome to the Church of All Saints in Cheltenham, Gloucestershire. This glorious building was designed by local architect John Middleton and completed in 1868. As you can see, no expense was spared when it came to the interior decoration of All Saints, which is home to some wonderful stained glass, elegant woodwork, and intricate details carved into the stonework. Adolf von Holst, father of famous composer Gustav Holst, was organist here between 1866 and 1894. Adolf, in collaboration with George Gardner, vicar of the church, and Arthur Hill of Hill & Son Organ Builders, designed this magnificent instrument, which was installed here in 1887. Hill & Son was one of the foremost organ building firms of the 19th century, and three years after the organ at All Saints was completed, the company installed what was, at the time, the largest organ in the world, in Sydney Town Hall. Music plays a key role in the liturgy here at All Saints, ever since young Gustav sang in the choir. The organ is at the heart of the church's music, supporting congregational singing, accompanying the church's fine choir, as well as its role as a solo recital instrument. The organ is an incredibly complex piece of machinery, certainly the most complex musical instrument. There are over two and a half thousand individual pipes, with thousands of moving parts that allow these pipes to sound at the correct time. As with any complex piece of machinery, the organ requires constant maintenance in order to keep it working well, with regular tuning and periodic intervention to replace worn out parts. But now, after over 130 years of service, the organ is in desperate need of much more serious attention. Major components are beginning to fail. The console, that is the collection of keys, stops and pedals used to control the instrument, is rather worn out. And there is an ever-growing list of faults as various pieces of the organ's mechanism reach the end of their life. As you might imagine, an overhaul of this scale is a major undertaking, requiring most, if not all, of the organ to be removed from the chamber for the first time since its installation in 1887. The organ's pipes will be cleaned and repaired, worn-out mechanisms will be restored, and old, perished leather will be replaced with new. As each pipe in the organ is only capable of producing one particular note, with one particular type of sound, for example a flute sound, trumpet sound or string sound, there are many, many pipes within the organ, far more than you can see in the casework. As part of our appeal, we have made each of the organ's 2,609 pipes available for sponsorship via an interactive virtual organ on our website. The virtual organ allows you to select a stop and hear each pipe by clicking on one of the virtual keys. We have a long road ahead of us, but with your help, we can save this magnificent instrument and ensure that it continues to inspire musicians for generations to come. To find out more, and to sponsor a pipe, visit our website www.sponsorapipe.co.uk Thank you.